Alright guys, we're still here at the Pipes Trail stand and we're looking at the uh, Pipes Trail Valleys, which is an electric uh, aircraft destined mostly for the um, trainer market. And we have the aircraft here which is plugged in and it's charging. It takes about an hour and a half to charge. Amazing. Oh, check this out. I believe the prop, since this is an electric aircraft, the prop would be free spinning. So they have the tape right here to hold it in place. That way it doesn't windmill in the wind. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> and here you have the sinus. And what you notice is the wingspan is much uh, longer. And I think you can actually take off the, the wing tips. I think somewhere right here. But this one looks like, like it's permanent. But I think you could take this off and make it shorter. Let's take a look inside. Wow. Everything is so neat. And they have the breakers so you won't blow fuses right there. That's a large display. They make pretty good stuff. And finally, we have the Pantera, which was highly anticipated a few years back. see that it's a Pantera it's a beautiful cockpit and it's got a yoke for control and all of your V speeds are right there so you don't have to go searching for those right there And over here we have some wall beds. I think these are new production Mustang aircraft. Using the blueprints of the original Mustang, they shrank everything down. For the glass cockpit. Scale wings. Oh, this is the icon. I've seen this flying in Florida. This is nice. You can fold the wings, store it in your garage, tow it in a trailer. They had some initial issues with uh, the pilot training, but I think all in all, it's a great aircraft. You can see the spa right there. Let's take a look inside. So you can fly land somewhere on a calm lake and do your fishing Here we have FedEx. We 
have the um, turbine engine all the way forward um, I think we can go this way check out what John Deere has on sale here Here you have a Gato 835M, that's a gas engine. And let's see how much they're asking 26,300 for this. And here you have another John Deere, I believe this one is air conditioned, manual window controls. You even have a, a padded roof, so it should be pretty quiet inside air conditioned it's an 835 and this one goes for 35,000 these things are getting more impressive every day with more and more tech uh, at times even better than some vehicles some cars uh, no pricing on that one here you have the zero turn mowers and for the aspiring farmers here is a little tractor and this one goes for 56,000 I don't know if it's a gas or diesel engine. Probably a diesel engine. Hi. Good. Does it have a gas or diesel engine? Diesel. 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 Okay, thank you. So this one has a diesel engine. Let's look for the different attachments you can have back here. You actually have a PTO and uh, attachments for whatever implement you have. Do you have any of the diesel uh, gators or they're all gas? They're all gas. Okay. Okay, cool. Here you have another 835. Let's take a quick look. This one is nicely sorted out. It has a, uh, what they call it, where you get precision GPS. What's this called again, RTK? Okay, it's just like an antenna, right? Yeah, so it's got the RTK antenna. And in here you have a, a digital screen. And any idea on the pricing on this one? It has a code here, but so go to this code and it will tell you about 35. Okay, so about 35, just like the other one out there, roughly that same uh, ballpark. Thanks, guys. Yep. Yeah. And here you have another gator. This one is a basic one. It's a 590 and this one goes for 18,000 one thing I know about the John Deere is they are very dur durable you can count on that so that's where the uh, belt would be the drive belt and this is very unlike the new Honda Pioneers I just saw that have uh, a DCT transmission and here we have is this a 210 with three tracks you can see the cantilever wing it doesn't have the support brace so it's a pretty fast red box What are those? Huh. It's a serious supercharged 310 horsepower. Uh, 
air conditioning. Okay, let's continue ahead here to where you have serious aircraft. BRS, they make uh, ballistic chutes, parachutes. Let me show you guys what the assembly looks like. So I think this is one that... Hello. Hey, Good. This one is packed already. Certified and everything. Hello. Are these some of the retrofit units that you can put like in a, an experimental aircraft? Some are experimental, some are LSA, some are certified. We have all kinds of them. Oh, okay, cool. And uh, the repacking is still like 10 years? Depending, the, on, depending on, the, on the airplane. On the airplane, okay. Sometimes are 10, sometimes are 6. Oh, okay. Depends on how is the installation uh -huh. built within the airplane. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, I just saw a BRS. I'm like, okay, let me stop by and check. So okay. it worked. Yeah, it thanks, worked. thanks. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, so there you have it. Okay, let's continue. Uh, who is this? LX7? LX7. So I guess this is the LX7 315 knots if you have the turboprop engine or 260 knots through airspeed if you have the piston engine and you can climb up to 4,500 feet per minute. <laughs> this thing is basically just pulling you straight out. Nice. Let's continue. I believe we saw this yesterday. On the right, you have the Amphib aircraft. Man, that thing is sitting so tall. A serious jet and at this point I believe we can make another cut and start shortly catch you guys on the next one <laughs> 